2018 Renault Colios SUV Review. The good points of Renault Colios SUV. Improved interior quality and usability. Long wheelbase for spacious rear seats. Simple, high specification trim structure. Impressive step CVT transmission. The bad points of Renault Colio's SUV. No petrol engine in range. No seven-seater available. Lack of badge kudos. Intrusive road noise. The second generation Renault Colio's adds another, and final, string to Renault's crossover style SUV bow. Joining the capture and cadre to battle its corner in the sector on the market increasingly saturated with rivals. The listing of those rivals is often a long one, and includes the hugely popular Land Rover Discovery Sport, Nissan's Trail, Ford Edge, Kia Sorento, Hyundai Santa Fe and, recently, the Skoda Kodiak. The well-received ladder is probably going to provide stiff competition for your Colios including because it affords the option of your 7-seat format. Search used Renault Colios 2017 on available for purchase. Why can't I have a 7-seat Renault Colios? Renault justifies its decision not to ever consider an excess of 5 seats within the basis that proportion and styling was more vital, instead of dressing inside the hunchback and this the addition of an additional tier would simply cram second row space. With a 2,705mm wheelbase, one from the longest to use class, the argument towards rear seat space has certainly been vindicated. But regarding proportion and styling, it strikes us that most with the effort has merely gone into making leading of a considerable box yell Renault as loudly as you possibly can. It does well indeed. Besides, should you prefer a 7-seat Renault, test the impressively stylish Scenic. Still, with easy fold, 60-40 split rear seats, a powered tailgate when you may wave your foot if your hands are brimming with shopping, a maximum load space of just 1,706 litres and wide opening doors for making the UK's Austin 7-sized parking bays much more frustrating. Space and practicality are up there with all the competition. Another interesting decision because of the burgeoning anti-diesel backlash, Renault has shunned petrol power to the UK, only arming the Colios which has a choice of just 1.6 and a couple.0 liter diesel engines for 130 and 175 horsepower respectively. Watch more, petrol versus diesel, which can be best for me. The smaller unit is made at using a six-speed manual transmission and front-wheel drive, as you move the larger features all-wheel drive and is particularly available which has a choice of any six-speed manual gearbox or continuously variable transmission CVT. That latter option which Renault stubbed Tronic transmission using its attendant 2.0-liter engine and all-wheel drive is, apparently, slated to get the best-selling model within the UK. Happily, then, that is a rare instance of CVT that does not set the engine bellowing off about the rev counter whilst the car catches up in the own good time. Seven artificial steps that are part of the system generate a pretty decent fist of more closely matching engine revs to acceleration, that can please old-fashioned automatic aficionados, as well as their ears. For each of the easy driving charms from the Stronic transmission, the manual 1.6-liter power rein is to not be sniffed at. The gear change is light and straightforward, the engine over willing. Both the steering and handling in this lighter variant feel somewhat more engaging, also it offers nigh on 10 miles per gallon more from the fuel economy stakes. What equipment does one get within the Renault Colios? The model lineup is also straightforward. That selection of powertrains easily obtainable in just two trim levels Dynamic S Nav or Signature Nav. 
with the former boasting a respectably lavish standard equipment specification, it's unsurprising that Renault expects it to become the favoured option from the UK. Full leather upholstery, heated front seats along with a powered tailgate aside, a common goodie that Signature Nav gives the party may be the larger 8.7-inch portrait format center console multimedia touchscreen. You have a vast amount of driver assistance tech like automatic emergency braking, blind spot monitor, lane departure warning and traffic sign recognition. Other common safety features for example escape, ABS, cruise control, six airbags and ice fix mountings for the two outer rear seats, are standard about the Colios. Such a sizable standard kit list means optional extras are thin around the ground. However, customers can spec the Climate Pack Limited on Signature Nav which adds ventilated front seats plus heated rear seats, tire and front windscreen once they wish. A high-end 13-speaker Bose head unit and automatic parking are offered also. The Verdict The Renault Colios is priced to compete within the heart of one with the car market's most crowded and competitive sectors. To do so effectively, it needs to become pretty special to face out, particularly when you consider there are admittedly costlier alternatives available from Land Rover, Audi, BMW and Mercedes-Benz. Has Renault succeeded in putting together a competent larger SUV for FEMA ease? Yes, undoubtedly so. It's good drive an automobile using a punchy 2.0-liter turbozole and well-matched transmission. It's roomy and attractive. Surprisingly, it is equally a quality item inside, with nice materials and control actions. Renault Link infotainment system nonetheless a weak link, but it is far from unique and struggling in this way. The big question for you is whether it's desirable enough for getting people from the premium brands, and since appealing because Colios is, we'd need to say that nevertheless lacks that factor that draws people into showrooms. It's a shame, because as a rational buy, the Colios stacks up virtually. Watch more everything about the Renault Colios SUV, the actual way it drives operates equipped and what it really costs to own. Limited choice, two diesel engines. Impressive CVT automatic. We enjoy the 1.6 liter most. First examples on the Colios is available which has a choice of just two diesel engines powering three different drive trains. According to Renault, petrol versions aren't yet crucial in this sector although it is changing rapidly. There can be a 1.6-liter unit with 6-speed manual transmission and front-wheel drive, and also a more powerful, 2.0-liter unit with either 6-speed manual or Renault 7-speed Tronic CVT automatic transmissions, and all-wheel drive. 1.6-liter, 4-cylinder turbozel, 130 horsepower, 357 newton-meters. 6-speed manual, front-wheel drive. 062 miles per hour in 11.4 seconds, max speed 115 miles per hour, 57.6 miles per gallon, 128 gkm CO2. 2.0 liter, 4-cylinder turbozel, 177 horsepower, 380 newton meters, 6-speed manual, front-wheel drive. 062 miles per hour in 10.7 seconds, max speed 126 miles per hour, 50.4 miles per gallon, 148 gkm CO2. 2.0 liter, 4 cylinder turbozel, 177 horsepower, 380 newton meters, 7 speed automatic, all wheel drive. 062 miles per hour in 9.5 seconds, Max speed 125 miles per hour, 47.9 miles per gallon, 156 gkm CO2. 
we sample their 2.0 liter version with CVT transmission and all wheel drive, plus the 1.6 liter car and manual, front wheel drive guys. Both are furnished with stop start, a knock strap and also a particulate filter. The better option. The 2.0 liter below variant is most impressive not for that engine itself, but also for a CVT system which, with regard to power delivery, feels the nearest yet we've experienced into a standard automatic gearbox. As long because you don't push too hard inside the quest for performance, the artificial introduction of seven steps from the transmission is appealing, if slightly contrived. It serves to suit vehicle acceleration a lot more closely on the rise in engine revs compared with most CVT gearboxes, yet no perceptible detriment to your freshly buttered banister smoothness that could be the hallmark of these systems. However, this is often a big car using a towing capacity of 2 tons, and, regardless of whether it does remove a great deal of faff from your process of making progress, the gentle emasculation with the power drain with the CVT transmission ensures it is rarely going to feel exactly sprightly. Some CVT issues to contend with. Moreover, if you don't actually find the 7 speed sequential mode where there are no paddle shifters that play should you, there's minimum engine braking to slow you into corners, that is initially somewhat disconcerting and, thereafter, a mite taxing within the brakes. By contrast, the 1.6 liter unit governed with a 6 speed manual box feels much more eager to respond on the wishes in the accelerator. The gear shift itself is practically slick enough in order to avoid its use feeling an excessive amount to chore and, in every single respect spend less on paper, small unit actually feels livelier than its bigger sibling. Unashamedly unsporty handling focus greatly on comfort. Will work off-road, all too easy to park. It's surprising how differently the 1.6 and a couple of .0 liter models handle. Despite a nice tingling of road surface information from the helm when driving straight, which promises much, the all-wheel drive 2.0 liter car steering never pertains to life with the corners. Though adequately accurate, it is suffering from a distinctly rubbery feel along with a lack of communication mid-bend that discounts driving involvement. Combine this having a degree of body roll undoubtedly encouraged using a ground clearance of 210mm along with the relative ease which the nose can wash wide when pressing on, plus it quickly becomes apparent how the Colios isn't that happy when tackling a sequence of tightly knit bends, losing composure with ever greater degree as corner follows corner. Despite having only the top wheels which to conjure traction, the 1.6 liter car handles a great deal more tidily under similar circumstances. Handling is what we'd call predictable, all you require in an SUV. Perhaps because there's less mass inside engine room, the steering weight and feel is often a marked improvement as well as the car seems much more desperate to turn in at will. Around town. The driver's seat should be hoiked high enough to crush your wife's swimple to face any change of locating the leading corners on the car, that produces low speed maneuvering and parking a trifle more bothersome than personal computer or to. Off-road, the Colios plugs along quite respectably, a three-way control switch offering a selection of front wheel drive, 4WD auto obtaining the all-wheel drive when deemed necessary and 4WD lock which distributes torque equally between front and back axles, automatically disengaging at exceeding 25 miles per hour, this is really a big car, but parking help is to be had. Depending on spec you could have acoustic sensors across the car, a rear view camera and automatic parking systems. Vastly improved cabin quality. High volume of standard kit. Unconvincing touchscreen reliance. Renault's interior planning has improved out of all recognition within the last number of years, while using raft of smiley faced control panels that, when typified, send out dashboards happily consigned to your circular filing tray. 
The Coleos largely clean, straightforward dashboard design also bears witness to some welcome hike inside the quality of materials at both a visual and tactile level, allied in an increasing reliance with the driver around the use from the infotainment touchscreen to the control of, perhaps, slightly lots of functions. A selection of just two specification levels inside the UK implies either a 7.0-inch or 8.7-inch center console touchscreen. Both come loaded which has a respectable SP watch of multimedia systems, including Satanov. We can report that, with the larger screen, the systems all appear to work well, and swiftly enough to not irritate. We might decide to question, however, the increasing reliance for the touchscreen and Renault is not even close to alone here to master some functions which drivers would like to access rather more watchily. Take the air cooling, for instance. Though it possesses a small phalanx of controls sighted under the screen, they don't have the ultimate flexibility required. Happily, there is usually a max demist button available without recourse for the screen controlled air conditioning settings. Because the windscreen carries a bad habit of misting up in warm, rainy weather, and it also is quicker and simpler to stab that regularly than fumble through on screen menus to reacquaint yourself while using road ahead. Tall driving position required. Comfortable ride in many situations. Watch out for body roll and corners. While Renault is for being applauded for imbuing the Colios with all the fundamentally soft undercarriage appropriate to a considerable family cruiser, closer scrutiny does unearth some rough edges. The overall perception is of the comfortable ride quality which, though admirable for motorway work, features a tendency to float over larger undulations and let a certain penetration of body roll from the corners to remind you that this is often a large and weighty car. But there is just not enough insulation from smaller road surface imperfections, typical urban potholes are heard and felt a little in excess of yeah to expect. Put that down towards the huge wheels that most Colios models wear. Seating is a useful one yet not brilliant. The front seats aren't as comfortable when they could be. The driving position is okay once you're sitting high enough to discover out, nevertheless they aren't as supportive as we want. Also, usual for most Renaults, it's lacking a bit in rearwards travel, so tall drivers will sit closer for the wheel compared to what they would ideally like. In diesel guys. The Colios is pleasantly quiet. The clatter on the diesel engine at idle quickly replaced as speeds rise with the thrum of tires on tarmac and, given its snub-nosed approach on the management of passing air, an inevitable a higher level wind noise. In all, though others may insulate you on the road surface to some greater degree, conversation at speed isn't an issue. Three trim levels. Loads of ordinary kit. Truncated options list. Mirroring its limited collection of power plant options, the Colios comes with a mercifully simple range of just two trim levels within the UK Dynamic S nav and top of the range signature nav. Standard Renault Colios SUV equipment. So comprehensive, however will be the Dynamic S nav standard equipment specification that Renault believes the best-selling variant within the UK could be the 2.0-liter, Stronic transmission, all-wheel drive model within this lesser trim guise. That specification features a DAB radio using a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system which incorporates Bluetooth hands-free connectivity, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay smartphone replications. Tom Tom Live updates Satan of with Western European mapping, four USB and a couple of aux in ports, a hands free key card, automatic lights and wipers, dual zone climate control, part leather upholstery, front seat air conditioning cup holders, heated and folding door mirrors, 18 inch to tone alloy wheels, roof bars, a gap panoramic sunroof, and extra tinted rear windows. 
with little left to include, Signature Nav is only able to muster several additional goodies, an 8.7-inch portrait format multimedia screen, heated, full leather upholstery, full LED headlamps, 19-inch alloys, as well as a power-operated tailgate which those carrying shopping may open by waving a foot in the rear bumper. Optional Renault Colios SUV Extras the options list may be similarly truncated, and features naught but a climate pack featuring heated and ventilated front seats, and heated rear seats, windscreen and helm, hands-free parking, brown or gray leather instead of black, metallic paint, an extra wheel instead of any kind of foaming goo, and also a spanking, 13-speaker Bose audio system. A very safe and secure SUV with lots of ordinary kit. Top marks from Euro and Cap. Driver assistance tech aims to produce life easier too. As we visit expect from any Renault, there is certainly, needless to say, a raft of driver assistance and safety systems tacked on top of the back in the standard equipment list. Applied through the lineup, Renault's driver assistance systems feature an advanced emergency braking EB, blind spot warning, Lane departure warning, traffic sign recognition with overspeed prevention, hill start assist, a rear parking camera, back and front parking sensors along with an electrochromatic rear mirror. Standard security features include ABS with electronic brake force distribution, escape with traction and understeer control, cruise control, speed limiter, six airbags, seat belts with load limiters and pretensioners at the top. Side impact protection bars and ice fix child C8 mounting points on the two outer rear seats. If imaginable anything else it is likely you don't want it. Unsurprisingly the Colios scored an entire 5 star rating gets hotter was crashed stood with the experts at Euro and Cap in 2017. The Renault Colios is often a practical car for four average adults and 5 if your rear seat occupants are smaller bigger. Of special note will be the heated and cooled front cup holders, while from the rear they're hidden from the central armrest between two back seats. You have a good sized 11 liter glove box and also a 7 liter storage box in involving the two front seats. We found the doors open wide too. 70 degrees and 77 degrees at back and front respectively that may make loading larger stuff like child seats nice and simple. The Renault Colios isn't essentially the most difficult car inside world to park, despite its large SUV footprint. That's because there is usually a range of systems fully briefed to help out, including parking sensors and also a rear view camera to improve visualize the objects throughout the car. On top of that there's a hands-free parking system to allow the car do all of the hard work. The large boot within the Renault Colios may be extended dramatically by folding around the rear seats, which liberates van-like numbers of extra room. Said seats are folded using only touch buttons from the boot. A removable floor inside the luggage area sits with the same height because relatively low loading lip meaning this oil is totally flat to generate loading larger items easier.